right, so I'm Zach Walker, uh, Sam Clancy, and Colton Baker. And uh, so our group focused on the major survival issues of the honeybee due to parasites, predators, habitat loss, and survival during the winter, which is probably the biggest factor in the West. However, bees are responsible for a third of the human's diet, or a third of the human race's diet, so it's a pretty big factor if they go extinct. And human, so honeybees pollinate for most of the food and flowers that hum humans consume. And without them, like I said, we lose the loss, a third of our diet. Honeybee survival during the winter is the biggest problem that, that the humans face, so that's what our group focused our project around. Um, our group made a synthetic beehive that's raised off the ground so that animals can't get to it. And there are solar panels on the top, and that regulates the internal temperature um, below 55 and above 25. And there are holes on the top and the bottom for entrance and exit purposes, and also to keep it ventilated. So um, we had an uh, original idea, and we kind of stuck with that idea for the majority of it. So this was our first prototype. And um, we were thinking about um, predators mostly because we knew that we could regulate the heat, which is a big problem. But we also had to think about like uh, birds and other small animals that would be getting in. So we had like a, a chicken wire to get birds out, and then we were kind of struggling with how to keep animals out, um, smaller animals. So we moved on to um, just making it kind of a solid um, hive and then making little holes for the bees to go in and out of. Um, but throughout the two prototypes, um, we had like a few common ideas, some things that we really liked. Um, we really liked the solar uh, panels on the top because during the winter it's cold, but it's also very sunny, so we could provide um, heat for the bees uh, without any external power source and also keep snow off the roof. Um, and the structure. Uh, we also like keeping it off the ground because a lot of animals are on the ground and um, you can get run down. Uh, we did have some problems though. We had problems with how the bees would get in and out. So when it gets really cold, if the entrances would freeze or um, the bees wouldn't be able to get out. Um, and we also had problems with the um, structure, like the strength of it. So being able to keep it up and keep it. Um, up in uh, efficiency. And even though our prototype hasn't been tested, we think that we thought about enough so we do pretty well. Absolutely. Rowdy, question? Why is there only one hole? There's not. So you can't really see it, but there's a a lot of holes there's on the side. Oh, there's a hole? No, so you can regulate temperatures. You can still have, so like, wire can go into it since it's living still. And there's a hole that's holding it off the ground. What do you want, like four poles? Five? You don't need four. It's plant saving money. Some of research would probably be keeping the bee or getting the bees to go in the hive and then stay in the hive. Since it is man-made, and they can make it themselves, it'd be hard to keep them there. And uh, there's got to be some kind of trick to keep them for snow up. Yeah. Throughout our research, we found that um, the queen bees. So there's a lot of queen bee um, eggs that are laid, and the first one to hatch uh, kills the rest. So we can just take. Um, some of those, and because there's there's a lot of them, so there will still be a queen bee in the original hive, but we can um, get one for ourselves. So uh, we wouldn't be killing another hive and moving it; we would just be uh, multiplying, multiplying, and that would increase the number and the population. And one last thing that we found during our research is that they need a lot of sugar to survive the winters. So we'd have to put candy or something inside of the hives to get them to. I think that we've done a lot of research on the exterior part 